Welcome back, crime sceners. I just wanted to revisit the spot of blood on the back of Nanette Ellis's car. It's weird. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know how it got there. And I just wanted to see what you guys think. Okay, disclaimer, please note that any statements or opinions expressed here are purely speculative and are not intended to accuse any individual or entity of wrongdoing. Unless otherwise stated as fact, the information provided reflects personal observations or hypotheses. Any conclusions drawn from this content should be viewed in this context. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share to get these videos out to as many people as we possibly can. Okay, so I did a video on this blood spot on the back of Nanette's car a couple of weeks ago and I took it down because somebody wrote to me and said, hey, YouTube frown on pictures of real blood. You know, they might take down your channel. So I took down the video just to be on the safe side because, of course, we do not want this channel to be taken down. But I did want to go into it because I want someone's opinion because it's kind of freaking me out and I think about it all the time. So instead of showing the actual picture of the actual blood, what I've done is tried to draw a picture of it. I'm a terrible drawer, so please just bear with me. But here's the picture of it. Like I said, please don't laugh. But this is kind of what the spot of blood on the back of her car looks like. It's only small. It's not a large spot. It's, it's um, very small in comparison to the overall car. But I can't work out if it's a spatter, if it's a smear, if it's a smudge, if it's um, just something that's like a drip. But I'll just kind of try to explain my drawing here and it's why it's so weird. As you can see down the bottom here, I've actually done that red bit down there quite dark because that's where the blood has obviously pulled. So this blood spot has run down and pulled at the bottom there. But the weird part is, and that's that red part there, of course, is the blood. And the line on the left-hand side right here, that's just kind of like a thin line of blood, but it doesn't really kind of connect in between with the other, like the major amount of blood coming down here and then pulling at the bottom. But this part over here is what kind of freaks me out because you have this kind of thin line of blood creating a circle and in the circle, there is no blood. You can just see the paint on the car. There's no blood in here. It's totally just like this bit here has run down and then there's like a circle around there. And then you have the two like spiky bits up here that are just thin lines of blood that I don't know where that would come from or how you would make something like that. But as you can see, I know this is a dodgy drawing, but it's weird, right? It's a weird smudge or smear. I, I don't know what you would call it, but it does look quite odd. Now, I don't know how it would have got on the back of the car in the first place because it's hard to kind of see where the car is in comparison to the house because the pictures that they took were kind of on an angle. But I would guesstimate that the back of the car was probably about there. So that's where I think the spot would be on the back of the car. Now, you can see quite clearly here that the killer has come out the front door, obvi. They went into the kitchen first because there was blood in there, but they've got blood drops inside the front door. They've got blood drops outside the front door. So they've obviously come out through the front door. And when you got to the end of the porch bit here, because you have to remember that this porch bit here was separated by like a wall. So they would have had to come straight out and they would have had to come all the way to the end, if you know what I'm talking about. But the most obvious place to go from there is straight out to the street. Or where else are you going to go from that point? You have to kind of go somewhere towards the street. And if they've gotten this spot of blood onto the car by touching it somehow then they pretty much had to have done like a little bit of a U-turn around that wall bit to get to the car. It doesn't make any sense that they would have been anywhere near the car if they were running straight out to the street. And it doesn't really matter if they run off that angle or that angle or that angle. All these angles should have been away from the car. 
unless this spot is actually a splatter like coming off the knife as the killer is running out then I can see that maybe it might have kind of flicked off and gotten there I don't know how far splatter travels when somebody's running with a knife so maybe it wasn't even possible to have it flick that far but I'll play devil's advocate and I'll say maybe maybe they're running out it may have flicked off but that's only if it is a splutter drop and only if it could actually travel that far and only if it would make this really weird shape now I was talking to somebody about this and they actually had a really good theory and they said perhaps it got on there when the killer was shutting the boot and I thought that was a good theory because the police do think she was attacked very shortly after getting home, basically as she was coming in and out, carrying stuff in and out. So who says that she managed to get back outside and shut the boot? Anyway, maybe the boot was left open because she was attacked before she had a chance to get out there. And so maybe the killer's gone running out there and they've seen the boot open, they've quickly shut it so that nobody gets suspicious by the fact that her boots just open all afternoon. Like maybe neighbours or all these other people that Greg saw walking around may have thought, you know, why she left her boot open and maybe gone in to say something. So maybe they did shut it. So then I went and had a look at the back of the car to see if the boot was kind of anywhere near the spot. This is not Annette's car, but it's the same make and model and I think it's the same year as well. It's really hard to get an exact type from the back from a, a 1984 model that's there's not many pictures so this is basically what it was like though and you can see that the boot is a very thin like it's very thin up the top so I was thinking well no because how would they get the blood spot down here if you were just shutting the boot and then I thought well maybe it came off of their clothes maybe if there's been some sort of transfer between blood on the killer's clothes and the car when they've gone over to shut the boot they may not have actually touched that spot there at all not with their hands anyway but I really want to hear what other people think because it's driving me crazy for starters how do you think this got on there do you think that it is splutter that came off the knife as they went running out the front do you think they went over and they did something with the car, shutting the boot or maybe something else? Do you think it may have been transfer off of their clothes as they went to shut the boot or do something else to the car? I don't know. Just I love when I hear your comments because it makes me think and think, oh, yeah, okay, maybe that makes sense. So if you have any sort of theory on this, I'd love to hear it because, like I said, driving me insane. But have a great day.